You guys about ready to do some treasure hunting with your boy? These are honestly probably the best find of the day so far. A little pair of some sunglasses. China special. Been metal detecting like two hours out here so far, but I figured I would turn you guys on and let's do some realistic metal detecting, eh? Let me know if anybody shows up in the chat, but let's just get right into it. Well, let's do some swinging, shall we? Hopefully this live stream stays, but uh, there's no guarantee. So let's see what we're working with out here. All right, we got a soda can under here. <laughs> Whoa, it's hitting me with an ad already. You're crazy, right? Oh, not quite a soda can. There it is, close, but no cigar. Can you guys even see? Uh, new Amsterdam pineapple, nice. What's up, you guys? What's up, Caprice? How you doing, Herbert? 513's in the building. <laughs> oh, we got Eastman in the house too. What's up, you guys? I hope you're doing well tonight. Doing a little bit of a night hunt. I might have to eventually put the uh, the headlamp on, but for now, I think we're good. Let me know how the quality's looking, how the audio is sounding. It was raining earlier today. So let's find some treasure. Got a few people out here walking the beach, but nothing too crazy tonight. We're gonna get on it. Uh, I was down by the wet sand. I've gotten actually a couple little pieces of jewelry, so I'm gonna make you guys like a full length, uh, a full length hunt, I think, but yeah, I've been going to beaches recently and I just haven't been finding a whole lot of good stuff to be honest with you. 28, 29. What's up, David Frazier? Yes, I am running beach sensitive today. I'm actually running, I was experimenting pitch tones earlier, but at the moment I am running uh, pitch high square, I think. A little bit funky. We're after the gold tonight though, guys. We're at a pretty decent beach, so. See if we can find it. Hello. What do we have? Dude. We're gonna start it off hard, huh? Is the camera angle horrible when I'm down like this? <laughs> little piece of aluminum right there we're gonna give it a go though what's up expat Ken nice to see you yeah uh, earlier today people were out on the beach like this is evidence somebody just completely got up and like ran from the rain it's like a game over blanket or something right there but uh, I was thinking of sticking to the dry sand because when rain starts coming down, anybody that's in the dry sand rips up their stuff pretty quick, you know what I mean? And runs off the beach almost immediately. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Quality looks a little dark. 62, 63 right there. Um, I might have to, like, figure out, I'm just using my phone as a flashlight today, so this is just completely experimental. Keep that in mind. 62, 63 right here. We'll go hop by the wet sand in a second so you guys can hear the waves. Please at least be a nickel and not a pull tab. Can you guys see a little bit better when I'm down on it like this? Oh, I heard something Shelly might have got something. I heard a congrats to Shelly. No! Can you guys see that? Crap! A <laughs> crapola! How can I do this? How can I do this so you guys can see? You guys can't see over there uh zipper pole anyway zipper pole right there because if i get my camera in front or if i get my camera in front of my light <laughs> it's gonna be an experimental hunt tonight i think there is a uh thingy though there <laughs> zipper pole david you said no what'd you say no to give me one second here i'm gonna try to flip my phone around say what's up to everybody real quick shelly's in the house Holy smoke, Shelly says I scored four rings today. One 10K and an 18K white gold bracelet. Holy moly. Congratulations, Shelly, heck yeah. What's up, Mikey? Here, I'm gonna try to get this light working real quick. I'm trying to figure out like what side works best. Bear with me, bear with me, everybody. Huh, is that better? Is that slightly better right there? Let me know what you guys think about this one. 
<laughs> What's up, treasure hunting legend? We're getting up, I promise. We're getting up. I feel like this light isn't quite bright enough to illuminate my path when I'm up, though. What's up, mighty Bismarck? 44 right there. Be our gold. 45, keeping it alive. Oh my goodness. Massive hunk of aluminum. Hey Shelly, where did you find that stuff? Were you by the wet sand or were you hunting in the dry sand today? Whoa. Whoops. Still running into a few issues with my XP MI4 pin pointer. Destiny's out here with me too. She's hanging out. She will join me in a moment. Martin says perfect. Nice. Heck yeah. I did a little bit of gritting down by the wet sand, but nothing too crazy. Sweet bee. Can I see that for a second? That, uh, yeah, that thing right there. We got a little bit of a headlamp, but will we get it to work? It's not very bright. <laughs> Did I put it on my head? Does it work? Does it illuminate any better? Than your phone? I really don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it does any better. I could have brought the ring light. It's okay. Yeah, we have a ring light. Destiny was going to maybe follow me around with it. I probably would have been the play, to be honest with you. Go back What's up, Talca? Uh huh? Show that. Ooh, Mighty says um, he found a little gold Medusa head today at the beach. Looked like part of an earring. I think I found a little tiny Medusa head too. It was tiny. Does this help? I don't know. Does it help? <laughs> well, Does that little bit of extra light help? I think the phone should, should suffice, <laughs> maybe. Uh, Tim, I'm using XP Deus 2 at the moment. I was using Legend earlier today, and I did get a little piece of uh, jewelry with the Legend, so I'll have something for you guys here eventually. I mean, the water's out. So David found some dental gold. Everyone found gold today. Where's my gold? I found something gold colored. I found a couple gold colored objects. Let's get down by the wet. I don't know, I can't see my grid lines anymore, but bring you down by the ocean. You can't see? I mean, I can see, it's fine. Okay. Can you guys see though? I don't know if anybody else can see. Try to hit on something in the wet sand. I found a couple coins and most of the jewelry today has come out of the wet. Yeah, Mikey says, uh, don't forget not to, don't look Medusa in the eyes. You may become petrified. I feel like because people have been in the water, even tonight there's been people swimming in the water. I think we're kind of working with low tide, so I think I kind of want to just casually swing around in the wet sand for a while. Iron, would you guys dig that? Want me to dig that for you real quick? Let's dig it. Can't get the lightning. Destiny's out here trying to get some footage too. See what it is. I think it's like iron, but it's giving me a slight high squeak. Maybe a piece of a uh, crab trap or something. David's guess is a bottle cap. Down here at this beach, the uh, the crab traps are kind of a little bit difficult sometimes. Sounds way worse now. Let's see. Uh, when we get down on it though, the light works pretty good. Something small, really. There it is. I think that is a piece of a crab trap, I'm pretty sure. A little piece of scrap. Silver, so that you automatically got, uh, he says your friend has nice legs. Already creeping on the legs, huh? Let's he got hidden though, that's what you get, Silver. Yeah. I didn't hide you. You've been banned. <laughs> that's funny. All right, let's see what else we got. 
Mikey says, dig it all. Mighty uh, Bismarck says, I've been searching up in Pensacola, mostly Destin. Did Shelly reply as to where she found that gold or those rings today? Where's Jeff at? Right, normally he's all out there. Tim says uh, he's retired and starting to get interested. Metal detecting is a good, it's a good hobby to like keep you active too. I hope that I'm still metal detecting when I'm older. Shelly, uh, wet sand or dry sand at the beach? Right now I'm, I'm down by the wet sand hoping to maybe get lucky and smack on a couple signals. Trying to do a little bit low and slow. Oh, dry, she said. I think the dry is the play though. Because the dry sand, did it rain where you are too, Shelly? They might have panicked and ran off the beach. Let's go up in the dry for a few, dig up a couple signals. What's up, 513? We got some karaoke going on at some bars down here tonight. Restaurant. <laughs> lit up over there all right let's smack out a couple signals in the uh there's one 6061 the dry sand always has something to offer sounds weird huh small you missed it where is it just can't really see out here today so i feel like this is probably the best method What's this? What is it? A shiny piece of something? Some beach debris. Shelly says yes, but then the sun came out. What's up, George? Let's find some treasure, man. Let's find at least a ring. My goal for tonight is a ring. You guys have to send me good luck. We need a ring. <laughs> You like that tone? <laughs> That's a pastry tone right there. Came straight from the behind of the master himself. What's up, George White? We got double Georges in the building. I'm sure, I'm sure there's detectors in the water. There's gotta be. Oh, there's somebody far. Are you sure that's a light out there? Yeah. That's not a buoy? Oh, way down there, okay. I'm sure there's gonna be some other metal detectors showing up here pretty soon. But even regular people will use lights out here. I mean, I got a light, but I guess I am a detectorist too. <laughs> What's up, Robert? He says he's been metal detecting every day since Easter. Eight rings, one gold men's band. Uh, t two, two three ring bullets and 70 bucks in clad. I like to hear it. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, my luck has been okay out here, I guess, today. Nothing too, too crazy yet, but the night has just begun. <laughs> got to get into a little bit of a patch swing over to initially gave me a nice high squeak huh tent steak I bet or bottle cap this one's for the karma points you guys know me sometimes we got to dig up a little bit of iron probably not worth it There it is. It is an angry one, very angry. I think it's an angry orchard. Found a couple of those today. Uh, David asked what tone am I using? I think I'm using pitch uh, high square, pitch high square right now. So I am running the new update with the Deus 2. I think it's the 1.0. That sounds very weird. I don't know what to think about it. Yeah, it's got a weird sound to it. 
more iron probably. Let's give me that farting tone. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Corona? <laughs> Uh, George asks, have I upgraded to the LG? No, I have not. I would like to get that coil, but I spent a lot on detectors already, so I'm trying to relax for at least a little bit. I like the size of that coil, though. I think it's the same size as the Xterra coil. Feels like you can cover a little bit more ground on the beach, you know? Feels good, feels good. Caprice <laughs> says, uh, Corona. Good guess. That's probably the next one. With a light out here, too. I mean, if there's something right on top, let me know if you guys see any shimmers in the sand. There's a 30. No, that's a... Yeah, on this machine, the bottom of the scale. Piece of aluminum. Shelly, were you digging up the aluminum today for that gold? I've dug up a lot of, like, little hug aluminum seals and uh, sunscreen seals and whatnot. Yeah, it's like a purple black. 66, 67. Decent tone, I think. Find something? That's a shell, huh? Yeah. 65. It's gotta be loud. We gotta hear it. What's that? I see something kinda shiny. Oh, huh? what is that? Ooh. Oh, is that? Oh, that's a freaking, I hate these things. I found a couple of them. I thought it was a cuff link, but it's a button off of like someone's phone, I think, or something. It's the golden phone button. Golden phone. Yeah, that's junk. Sounded good. Yeah, or shiny. Sounded actually really good. Shelly says, yes, she was in a lot of trash. 513, I haven't really hunt, night hunted a lot, but so far it's pretty nice. This is our real first night hunt, huh? Yeah, I mean, I've done maybe a couple casual night hunts, but I don't know, it's pretty fun. Because there's not as many people out here, so you actually have, you can swing wherever you want. I'm gonna go just up and down in the dry sand for a few, and then we'll go check out the wet sand again. Tim asks any advice on a good detector that won't break the bank. I think we have, I think we got 40 in the chat right now. So we have 40 pretty good opinions, I bet you, on some pretty good, uh, you know, decently affordable metal detectors. Mind Lab Vanquish, Knock the Legend, Simplex is a decent one. For the beach though, maybe stay away from the Simplex. I don't know. A lot of preferences out there. What is that? Is that a massive tent stake? No, it's a balloon. Oh. It's a balloon thing. We'll take that. Trash. Can we get it? Ew. I don't think I can even put it in there. Someone's balloon is gone. Yeah, that's a good question. Where are you hunting? 513 asks. And David, too. Well, no, he asks, like, they ask where is he hunting, so that kind of depends on the answer they will give. Wow, I can bet this is going to be, like, uh, I think it's going to be a can, but the real mystery, look at that, makes him, like, <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Oh, wait, you can see my hand. It's not the same when you can still see my hand. I can see your hand, it don't work. I bet this is going to be a can, but what type of can? Twisted tea, Pepsi? Corona? Does Corona come in cans? Uh, I think everything. Twisted tea. Cans. Twisted tea. Go twisted tea. I mean, we could get lucky. Oh, it's not a can. Oh, what is it? It's a lighter? No, it's the second oh, the... Miami Mint BC 5000. Oh, wow. Like fresh breath, eh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Is that uh, the old Delta 8? <laughs> or is it probably just air? What's up, Dig 5050? All right, let's keep going. We were all wrong. We got a Coke Zero guess. <laughs> What's up, Janice? 
Capri says, I got the Vanquish 440 after seeing Austin find a lot of jewelry with it. I found 18K ring on second day. Jetha found an 18K ring with his Vanquish too. Maybe slightly deeper, 60 to 65. Pull tab possibly on a 64. Let's get down on them. Hello? Small? Right here? One hand is not cutting it. No, but you had it. Oh, I had it? Freaking pull tab, man. Okay. They, they do come out shiny. I thought I saw a shimmer in the sand. I got excited for a split second. For just a split second. Just a What's up, Frank's fly traps? Huh. Huh? I said there's a little bit lightning. Sounds like a great 33. I'm pretty sure gold can read that low. I think. But it's going to be big aluminum probably. Be the gold. Go. Just saw it. There it is. I'm finding a lot of like condiment packets and like things to drink uh, containers and. Sounds right. Yeah, Eastman says vapes as bad as freaking pull tabs. They're becoming more and more common. Especially with the little uh, just yeah, I guess what kids just got off school or seniors did. So the beaches are, uh, they're full. Were you here earlier? I might have been, actually. I think I made it down this way a little bit. Crazy sound. At least it's not human. <laughs> Dig Florida says, y'all streamers that don't uh, wear gloves give me anxiety. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's definitely some sketchy stuff out here. It's not probably not a good idea to be uh, grabbing around in the hole with your hands. But... Probably, I'd extend it a little bit. Like hour? Probably, yeah. If that's all right. Is the quality looking good right now, everybody? Are we gonna actually stay live? All right. Come on, little buddy. Some foil. I found something today that I thought was gonna be aluminum foil and it wasn't, so keep that a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Got a little bit of footage before I started the live stream up, so. Hello, Brenda. 513 says, I like the Simplex and Legend. New Simplex is gonna be awesome because it will be able to link to the new pin pointer. Oh. That'll be interesting. Might eventually make our way down to the wet sand line. But for now, I guess the dry sand will do. The water looks terrible. Yeah, even over there looks pretty sketchy. What's this one? Please don't be a bottle cap. It sounds good at first, but the target ID. Stop swinging and just dig it. 84 to 86. 76 now. Is that it? Yeah. She thick. It's a thickened. Huh. It is uh, an aluminum Mich bottle cap. Michelo Ultra. What's that little thing? A little piece to a shell or something. Some junk. Caprice guest Heineken cap. Very close. Very, very close. A lot of interesting tones around here. We're in a patch of bottle caps. <laughs> Is 
very low bottle cap, you guessed. Aluminum foil, probably. Or gold. Or gold. Aluminum or the gild. Piece to a little hug, fruit barrel. Uh -huh, <laughs> Appreciate it, Florida Dirt Digger. Oh, Shelly says if you lose your pinpointer, your machine will locate it. Yeah, that's a that's a cool feature. Is that with the Deus Two you're talking about, or a different one? This thing's interesting. Maybe another can, vape, or a car. Ninety three. Or a honkin' silver rang, maybe. Is this gonna be the twisted tea? <laughs> no, you bad. <laughs> no. Oh, it is a car. Look at that bad boy right there. Wow! It's branded at least. Hot Wheels. Yeah, that's the come up. What do you guys think of that one? Who's got first bid on this one? Robert says, I hate beaver tails. I cut myself on one the other day. Freaking beaver tails. I got a couple beaches around me that have just years of beaver tail. Oh, is that not just not it? It's a spill, I bet you. Oh, cars. It's a spill, isn't it? Get something down there. Oh, yeah, we got the jackpot, I think. Oh, wait, there's their, yeah. Little elephant, I think. Is that what that is? Anybody out there have an extreme scoop, an extreme sand scoop? Oh man, we're on it. Come on. Ink. Supervisor. Supervisor truck. That one I think is Matchbox. Are we keeping this little dude? Come on. Uh, yeah, we'll take it off the beach. Why not? What is, what is it? it? Oh, it's like a little... Uh, I don't know. Crab? Take your guess. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Mighty says, I noticed in one of your old vids was a beach I used to go to when I was younger. That's pretty cool. Probably another one, huh? It's got to be. That was working better than that. Just get in there with our pinpointer, see what we're working with. On the bottom of the hole, dude. There's one. Come here. <laughs> it's like the whole freaking. They just told you to get them anxiety, and here you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, that one's been through the ringer. What's that? Old Policia. He had the police. He had deputy on scene, crime scene investigator. They were probably chasing that uh, charger, huh? The Dodge Charger. <laughs> How many is that? Three. Do we have more? Four. See if there's one more in there. Nope. No. That's all she was. All she wrote, eh? Poor little kid lost his whole uh, savings. <laughs> he lost his whole collection. All right. Oh, Brenda says Caterpillar. That might have been it. I might just stop digging signals under 30 or under 40. Will you though? I don't know. These are all going to be, not all of them, most of them are going to be aluminum foil in the 30s. Towards that waterline, that sketch depth waterline? I might. <laughs> you said you have to re up though in a second? And probably in like 10 minutes or so. All right. Somebody's. What did they bury in here? 43. No, it's going to, I bet you it's going to be a uh, Kool-Aid jammer. Kool-Aid jammer, guess. Kool-Aid jammer. Huggies? 43. Lost your gold ring? Maybe they were looking for it right here. No! Oh, massive, foil. massive foil seal. These things sound so good. What's up, Jason? He says, dark and flow rider. You bet it is. What's that? Oh, that's a piece to a big sand dollar, I think. Yeah, I haven't seen a full one, but I've seen a few broken ones. Yeah. Destiny's good at finding stuff like that. 
Yeah, Tim, poor kid lost all his toys. It is sad. I got a collection of like Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. It's iron sound. Where's everybody at? Where's John? John B. Come out here. Jephthah. Jason, the golden Hot Wheel car. That's what I'm after. No, I don't think yet. Mighty says, hopefully within the next uh, few months for an Xterra Pro. Saving up for an Xterra? Some alcohol? We got room for it. It's empty. Oh, it's raspberry. Wow. Spiked sparkling water. All right, Sharon. Hope you enjoyed. Becky got it. Hopefully she lost her, uh, I, I only wish upon people losing jewelry if they like purposefully lose their trash. So that's a new thing of mine. I get spiteful when I find a pile of trash. You lost your aluminum can, you better have lost your golden ring. It'd be a shame if I ever lost some Bulgari. Some Bulgari? <laughs> Shelly says, hello, Destiny. Jason says, I haven't been detecting in over a week. Been sick and pushed too hard for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Needed a break. It says, is that a chair? Is that a chair? What is that? Go investigate and see what we have. If that's a chair, that's coming with us. If it's an upgrade, it's coming with us. Is it busted and broken? Oh, dang. Yeah, people come down here on vacation and they, oh, oh it's yeah, busted she, through. Oh, and it probably was a good chair. It was, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a trek. Nothing in there? Can. Is it? Where is it? I guess I can go. Try. If you're going to, I would take it if you're going to go re-up. Are you re-upping right now? I'm just going to go bring it to the trash. Okay. <laughs> Destiny, so sweet. Florida Dirt Digger, they'll get me for detecting under the influence. Oh man, I'll challenge them on that one. And I will never pick up an aluminum freaking, if they dare challenge me on that, I will never pick up a can off the beach again. Try to say I've been drinking. Peter, I uh, I was using the legend at the original or at the beginning of this hunt, so I'll have a little bit of footage for you with the legend. I was trying out Gigmaster settings. He uses one recovery speed on the beach. I mean, if your machine can handle it and there's not a lot of signals, one recovery speed is gonna punch pretty freaking deep. And we did get a couple things with it, so. I kind of wanted uh, to bring out this machine just for the coil size. It's a little bit bigger than what I got for the Legend right now. I was using the stock 11 inch. I want you guys to vote uh, right now. Keep with the dry sand or go try the wet sand for like half an hour or so. Listen to the iron tones on this machine. That's a funky one, hey? That's a funky one. Jason says give the wet sand a try. Been quite a few swimmers, so I think the wet sand is uh, definitely have potential. Shelly says stick to the dry. Mikey says wet. Give wet sand a try. I got a couple wet. Peter says dry sand. Ooh, I hate when it's split. I hate when the decision's split because I don't know what to do either. We've been hitting the dry for the first like 30 minutes of this stream. Let's, let's check the wet for just a second. If it's ultra slow, then we'll, we'll come back up. The conditions actually look pretty decent here, though, in the wet sand. <laughs> the 
This one's not even giving me a target ID. Ooh, a little bit. 50, 79. Try to get it out. Sounds small-ish, maybe. This one's deep, though. Come on, baby, ring right here. Pretty sure there's something in there. Hello. Hello. It's down there. I'm not sure if I'm missing it or pretty sure there's something in there. Try to hit it with the pinpointer real quick, maybe. What's up, Don Jones? Trying to like recalibrate the old, huh? Let's take a couple more scoops on it. I, I'm confident there has to be something here. Pretty confident. I don't think it was a false signal. The hole refilled pretty fast. Yeah, it did. Thanks. Skip on by it. Keep going for it. Sounded like a repeatable signal, right? But I don't hear it anymore. Can? You guys are guessing a can. I think I would still hear it if it was a can. But do you? <laughs> give, me, give me a ring right here. I don't know. Was it out this whole time? Right here. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna fill it in here in a second, I think. Maybe my machine was running a little too hot. I'm pretty sure there's a signal though. No, nah, I don't think it's worth it. One more scoop, one more scoop. Right in the middle of the hole. Come on, baby. Yo! It's a workout. Now I gotta fill it in. Uh -huh. No, it's not out. We're giving up on it. <laughs> I don't know if you can just... If I still heard it, I would go for it, but... You wanna help? I gotta bring up the chat again. Tag team this thing. Yeah. Here, I gave you the it's bigger like, spile. It's like concrete. It is. Which is good, though. This sand, I think, is decent. Yeah, you have the easier method. Still ain't easy. Said easier. Never <laughs> easier. See if we can hear it again now that the hole's filled in. Well, I don't know what happened. Yeah, it sounded better. Well, I just skipped over the gold ring, so that was our chance. Video going bad. Oh no, oh no. Audio's cutting out. There goes the live. Go back up to the dry for a second. <laughs> Destiny was like, you dug it, you fill it up. Yeah, <laughs> she was. Maybe. Kind of want I want to stick by the wet though. I'm afraid the water always cuts my signal. It seems like every time I go by the wet sand. Yeah, Jason, pinpointer, digging Daytona never uses a uh, pinpointer. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that too. Maybe just like stay a little bit past the CD line. It'll be okay. It's definitely not in the water. Yeah, I don't know. Because there are a bunch of like little grooves. Would you guys dig up that? I don't think I usually would. Nope. It's like a 910. Let me know if the uh, the video is cutting out again. If the video keeps cutting out, we might just have to head up to the dry sand and stick it out up there. But look at these shells. This this condition the conditions are good. Yeah, the water is far right now. There's a negative tide. 
Keep your ears peeled and your eyes peeled. My audio's gone. Can you hear me still? Oh, you can hear and see me fine still? The live streams are so unpredictable. I'm trying to like give you a little bit more light. <laughs> yeah. Love you. Such a nice like water line right now though. It's pretty nice. You can see. Ooh. Junk probably. Sounds like junk. Might be junk jewelry though. Let's try it. I'll probably head back and re up in a minute. You'll re up in a moment? Sounds good to me. Junk or junk jewelry? I guess it's both the same, huh? Think it's piece to a crab trap or some assorted scrap? I don't know, it's blackened. Yeah, Jason says that Verizon network or AT&T or Sprint or T-Mobile, yeah, they're all kind of... <laughs> Just name every single they're all questionable. I mean, where I am, there's no buildings around. There's nothing in sight. I mean... Yeah, I guess there is, but I should have like pristine connection. Well, I think it might be because I was also on it. Maybe. Some right, iron what sounds. Are you gonna head just so I know on my way back? Probably start heading back that way. Yeah, we'll hit the wet sand. Is this my hole right here? Yeah. This is the one I was going yeah, for? Yeah, that was a massive crater. I see, I see. Okay, I see you in a few, girl. Look who it is. We are just talking about you, Jephtha. What's up, dude? David says, I love this couch detecting. <laughs> That's the way to do it, huh? Come on, baby. Where are you at, Jephthah? Are you close? Come on down. I don't know how much longer we're going to be out here for, but the conditions seem pretty good. It was raining earlier, but... See you later, Jephthah. Peter, I have not been down that far yet. Never been down to uh, Miami. Be cool to try one day though. All right, let's stick by the water line for a few minutes. If it's completely slow, I promise you guys, we'll go back up to the dry sand, but. Signal like this, I think it's junk, but should I dig it? It's mostly an iron tone, right? Iron tone? I don't know. I should have dug it up already. Dan says, any crabs? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Maybe the plastic variety. You know what those little things I'm talking about? Like the little sand creators. Let's hang out by this uh, wet sand line. Enjoy the water. Can you guys see the water a little bit? Yo, Gary, appreciate that, dude. Nice to see you. He says he found a 1700s military button today. Heck yeah. Where were you at, Gary? Are you still in Florida or was that somewhere else? What's up? I'm hoping we can get some gold, but I'll be happy with any ring, honestly. My, my goal is set on a ring. I want to find a ring. We need to unlock Taco Bell. Make Meryl proud. I mean, heck, if we can get some sushi, you know, unlock that gold, I'll be happy with that too. I ain't digging that. Pirate's iron. 
Oh, Gary says he's over in uh, South Carolina now. What's up, Dank? Dank Solo. Is it the seaweed that's giving me a signal? Why does it do that? You guys ever experienced that before? Sometimes seaweed will actually give you a signal on your metal detector. Sometimes, actually, I've even gotten a signal on a crab before. I don't know if it absorbs maybe some of the heavy metals or something. I really don't know. Oh, Gary, that's that's cool. Dig that beep. I like dig that beep. There's some. They seem to be cool guys. I've never met them in person, but I like their videos. Come on, baby. Where's the gold? Where's the signals? I'll take any signals by the wet sand. Always keep an eye over your shoulder, too. You got to be very aware out here. Don't worry. Here in Florida, we're all right with concealed carry. So, you know. Definitely some iron down here. So, good. Possibly good. What do you guys think about my swing speed? Come on, please. 38 right there. Aluminum foil or the gold? Thirty-nine, baby. Come on. Right in the wet sand line here. Come on with it. Might have it. Thirty-eight. Whoops. Yeah. Come on. Could this be it? Please. Down by the wet sand. Thirty-eight on the target ID. Right over here right over here come on some scrap <laughs> instant buzz kill it's like some uh, thin aluminum off of a can or something come on the first signal down by the wet you gotta troll me like that <laughs> it happens it's the reality of metal detecting I try to fill my holes even if they're like right in the water line as best as I can Gary says uh Oh, the law was called on those guys from Dig That Beep. They had permission. Huh. Yeah, man, people are, uh, I don't know. People can be good and people can be bad. <laughs> the big reveal, he says. Yeah, they're like... From what I can tell, they're like, they're very good ambassadors for the hobby. You know, they only metal detect where they're allowed to metal detect. They fill in their holes. They go beyond filling in their holes, you know. They make it look like they've never even been there. That is like essential for me when I'm trying to metal detect. I mean, sometimes, you know, when you're running low on energy, you, you do the best that you possibly can. <laughs> But it's like it's the principle, I think, more than anything. And I always, like, try to take the trash with you, too, you know? Not just so you don't have to not dig it later, but... I don't know. Anybody that buries their trash back in the hole, I'm sorry to say it. Would you guys dig this? Very faint signal, like barely giving me anything on it. Let me see. Turn down the reactivity to 0.5. I don't know, just a whisper. Might be like piece of seaweed, I don't know. Yes, yes, most definitely. Whisper, just a whisper. Just a whisper. Let me turn my recovery back up, 1.5. Just take a couple scoops out, see if we can get anything out of here. 
could be a deep one. Chain, deep one, seaweed. Don't think I have it. It's like very, very faint. Gary says, nope, walk away. I can't tell if it's actually a signal or if it's like a false. It's so faint, you know? I'll walk away in a second if I can't get it out. This is similar to that other one. Maybe I'm just running my machine slightly too hot and there's something mineralized down there that's giving me a little bit of a signal. I found some really deep rings with this machine and that's not what... I mean, there's no guarantee though, you know, nothing ever sounds the same. So take a couple out, dig them all, gold ring on edge. Very true, it could be deep on edge. Just waiting for it to come out and be a screamer. Mm. I don't know if there's actually something down there. Might be running her a little too hot. Yeah, Dank, this is 1.0, so I'm still learning it too. Could just be throwing off a false. This is the second time this has happened. But like I said, I'm running the machine a little bit hot, so get out of there. Ooh. That's a workout when you like pull against the resistance. All right. Junk signal. Gold ring on edge, dig them all, Crypto says. Tent stake rusted. I just still get me something, but it's probably the mineralization now. I don't know. It's good to dig signals sometimes when you question them, you know? Look! Look, it's out! 89. Holy deep. Holy deep right there. Oh my goodness. Now that is kind of, I was going to give up on it. I thought it was, I thought it was gone, dude. Come on, baby. Give me something nice. Don't be a penny, please. Digging around in there. No. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst, I guess. It's a recovered target on a questionable signal, so I call that a win. It's a 1972 penny, blackened, been down there for a while. So the signal was like, it was horrible, you know? Man, that makes me want to go back and dig out that other one I was getting. <laughs> Probably left behind the freaking gold ring. That baby's a crater. I don't know how deep it actually was though. It might not have been like that deep. Not too bad though. It's a chenny. Like I said, do the best that I possibly can is like my theory. Just so if somebody's walking by down here, they're not gonna break their ankle, you know? Like, it's a little bit messy, but smooth it over. Smooth it over. And 20 minutes later for a penny. Nice. <laughs> All right, so let's keep our ears out for those deep ones. Like the machine actually is running pretty stable, so I don't know. What's up, Daniel? Yeah, Gary, that's true. What's worth more at this point, a copper penny or an aluminum pull tab? Listen to this, iron here, iron here. Is it worth, uh, any of you experts got some tips for me? Is it worth slowing down and checking out this area or it could just be a patch of iron? I try to get tips from guys like when I'm watching videos and stuff. I hear like the gig master sometimes say that, like if you start getting into a heavy patch of iron, I guess it depends on how heavy the targets are too. I don't know. Yeah, Gary, I agree. Do what you can and move on. Just have fun. Do the best you can. Here's my lines from earlier. I was like, not really gritting this, but kind of gritting it. I don't know if you guys can see right there. 
she made it back. What's up, Mad Mike? He's got the all elusive red bull tab. <laughs> What'd I get? I got an ultra deep uh, penny while you were gone. I was about to give up on it though. <laughs> Uh, crypto that big iron sounded like rear axle from a Ford pickup. This machine gives some weird iron tones Some very very strange iron grunts I'm pretty sure it was that I was fine. You're fine? No, because like it was like lagging really bad. I said you are parked so oh, Okay and I wasn't about to stand there and put in my numbers Yeah <laughs> Granted it's lit but, no. That's after an old bean burrito right there. <laughs> nice nice tone. <laughs> no ring yet. Still, Taco Bell is still uh, locked. What's McDonald's? That's, that's if you find a bottle cap, McDonald's gets unlocked. Okay, that's where we're probably going after this. Yeah. <laughs> I got until 11, so okay. that's pretty much after that I don't have to pay anymore. Gary says, can't wait to get to my new house. Afterwards, buying a camper van to tour all over uh, South Carolina and Florida. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. I've always liked those, like the mini house builds and the... This is another one kind of like that other one. Listen. No target ID at all. No numbers on the screen. There's a pretty distinct sound though. Yeah, it's definitely a repeatable signal. So I'm gonna put some effort in on this one. Try to get it out. <laughs> Something small probably. 40? Doesn't sound like too clicky. Shells right here though. This is I think a decent spot. Might just be tiny. Right here. Oh. <laughs> no. Nope. You guys guess what that is before I say it. Somebody was talking about them earlier. It's a half of one. Take it, take a guess. Yeah, Gary says McDonald's is all pull tabs. <laughs> McDonald's has been unlocked as soon as you find a pull tab. Well, I guess we just win. You guys guess what that is? Not what I wanted, but. That's probably the other half. Uh, that one's some iron next to it. Yep, Florida Sand Hunters. It's a half of a old beaver tail pull tab, is what that was. Unfortunate. Oh, baby, what do we got there? Interesting. Kind of big. Yeah, is it finally your phone? Yeah, I'm still looking for like a phone. 8379. Come on, little buddy. What's up, Starburst? <laughs> Starburst in the building. Ooh, I don't know. Did I just get a little bit of a iron grunt on it? I'm not sure. I think it would be? I don't know. I don't know. I think I did find a Nokia a while ago, or it wasn't a Nokia, it was like an old school, before the touchscreen phones. Oh, do we have a twisted tea can? Twisted tea can, maybe. Yo, stink cat. Stink ass cat come through with the hookup. Heck yeah. Appreciate you, dude. Oh, come on. Come on. That suction, man, does not make it easy. <laughs> oh. She's a screamer. 83 don't don't you dare <laughs> don't uh spoil it what is it i dug it we get to see what it is first do i even have it I sounded crazy loud i don't think i have it dude that thing that thing sounds crazy I don't want to see it. I want to sift it out. Oh, I see it. What is that? I think I see it. I think I saw it unless it just fell through. Oh, there it is. 
Ooh. Someone's house key. Someone's house key. <laughs> it sounded so good. That's why. Quick set key. Uh, Dank says gold ring or a penny. Freaking dream squash or extreme. What does a key get on? Yeah, what does a key unlock? It's got to unlock something. Oh yeah, Meryl does have a key unlock. I forget what he gets with the key. I have found a key. House unlock, a brand new house. Wouldn't that be awesome if that was how it worked? You find a set of car keys and you just get to go out to the parking lot and drive home in your new vehicle. Oh, you're in the lot now. Bet your bottom dollar I am. I have lots of bottom dollars. Crypto, is that actually Taco Bell? <laughs> no, talk about something different. Starburst says, uh, I got two keys this year. Nice. Destiny got actually a pair of house keys out here last time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to dig that. Don't, you don't have to. I'm just saying. Like... I don't know. Maybe some people would have dug it, though. Would you guys would, would you have dug that signal? Has anyone ever found gold that sounded like iron? That's what I want to know. I've heard like there have been cases where it's a possibility, especially when you're in rough terrain like this, like mineralized sand with salt water, you can like dab down average signals. Is that true? I've never first personally found gold that sounded like iron, but gold chain passed up. Go back. Let's go back for it. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, like I've heard that happening before. I've just never experienced it, so I don't know if it's true. You guys making me suffer? Let's try. There it is right there. It's so weird. It's a weird iron tone. Listen how like deep it is or like We'll try it. Crab trap extreme. Gary, I'm sending this one to you. You said to <laughs> It doesn't even give me a target ID, which is strange. It's a weird iron tone, though. I don't really hear one like that. It's like a hot rock. There it is. Bobby pin. <laughs> Big Florida has found a Motorola phone. That might have been what I found. A Motorola. Spent all day trying to track the dude down. Bro, thank you. I had so much money in Bitcoin and NFT I couldn't get to. Whoa. Yo, hopefully he does hook you up. That would be cool. Gary found a key ring with a gold ring. Oh, that's true. That could happen. Oh, yeah. And other detectors, that's how they keep their rings. Yeah, like, because other detector users, too, they keep their rings on a carabiner most of the time. You guys ever notice that? Who, who out there keeps their rings on a carabiner when they're out here? If you lose the carabiner, you lose all your rings. <laughs> all the rings go with it. Bobby pin sucks, says Gary. <laughs> well, that's what you said. That's all right. It's good to take the risk sometimes. Like, I don't like discounting stuff. Even if a machine's telling me something, like you don't know for sure until you dig it up. Especially with this new version with the Deus 2, like who's to say gold chains just don't sound like iron? Has there been enough extensive testing with the machine? And like gold chains, there's not, all gold chains aren't similar. I think when I'm running a little too hot to uh, hit the waves, so I'm getting a little bit of, hear that? When I hit the waves, it gave me a little bit of interference. I don't think I want to go in the water though. <laughs> Baby is cut. Starburst is face reveal. I don't even think you'd be able to see me right now. What's up, show me treasure? Uh, from work tonight. Get back to work. <laughs> no. Nice to see you, dude. We're working tonight. Yeah, I don't know about that. This casual right here, casual swinging, baby. What's that? Seaweed. Seaweed. Give us an earring, something. Chunky 
Maybe I'm not overlapping my swings enough. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you'll actually get a glare when I'm live streaming. You can see my face in the, in the glare of the camera. Yeah, Gary says got to bring the full loot bag to the beach, bury and test it. All right, what do you guys think? Has it been half an hour? Should we go check out the dry sand again? The wet sand is just there's something about swinging like when the water's coming up. It's just nice. And like you kind of get, potential in the yeah, well, I say the potential is like, for me at least, the potential is almost equal, but you're going to be digging a lot more crap in the dry sand for sure. But like we said, today it was raining, so probably people like panicked and ran off the beach, you know? Yeah. David, where are the coins? Yeah, good question. I found like three coins today so far. Gary, if I dial it in a little bit finer, like if I was hunting in the water, I would dial it in a little bit better. I've gotten it to run pretty decently smooth in the water. Uh, I like pitch tones in the water. But yeah, if you run it too hot, it's definitely gonna false. Should I turn my, let me see here real quick. Where's my audio response at? Five, it's at right now. Bumping this up, you'll hear more chatter, but you can hear the deeper signals a little bit better too. So we'll see. I was running it at five. Let's try to push it all the way and see if like the chatter gets worse. Yeah, it, ba it basically amplified the little bit of instability that I'm getting. So I, I think I would almost prefer it at five uh, audio response. But let's try just for a second here. I'm getting like a little bit of chatter, but I'll usually dig up an iron signal in the wet sand if there's like a high squeak attached to it. So if it's giving you mostly iron with like a high squeak, I'm more likely to dig it out. 47, 58. Come on, baby. Sounds kind of good. It'll be closed. Right here. This is it. Now that I took a hole on it, it sounds strange. What's up, BT, BT, BTK, Spence? The heck's going on here? This audio response has got me messed up. Put it back to five. Is it out or is it still in? I think it's out. Small, little signal. Little piece of beach debris, possibly. I miss my XBMI-4. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Mystery metal. What is it? I don't know what it is. Scrap metal. Uh, Spence says he's about to put Liam to bed and go to bed myself. Good night to you, dude. What's up, Daryl? Look at her already helping me fill it in. Yeah. 
when you pump up the audio response too, I think it amplifies the smaller signals maybe a little bit too. So something that I'm gonna have to just learn. Right now I'm just used to five audio response. So maybe I should experiment, but. Not right now. I would say those settings for right now, that copper penny was pretty freaking deep. So I don't know. See you later, Gary. What the signal? I got it out. It was it was a tiny little piece of scrap metal. Let's do a couple up and downs. Yeah, because originally my first good signal of the day with the legend was up here. Tiniest signal in existence, possibly. <laughs> Dude, my pinpoint is not even going to hit on this. I don't think I'm interested. I don't think I'm interested in this one. I wasn't getting a target ID on it. It's... Do what? A little trough up there? I hunted in that a little bit earlier. Uh, Jason, what happened? Oh, to my XP. I'm pretty sure, honestly, what happened was I noticed when you go to charge the XP MI4, it's mostly iron, but a little high squeaker in it. The end cap is like really hard to get back on. And I'm pretty sure what happened was it eventually got cross threaded. And then I took it in the water with me to do a water hunt. And I'm pretty sure a little bit of water got in it. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Crab trap, I think, maybe? Yeah, Jason's right. YouTube just like auto blocks when you uh, spam emojis like that, so. Nothing that I did. Just go up a little bit further up here. Yeah, the cap, I feel like that's like, I like everything else about it, man. But the cap is like, it's a pain. I don't like that cap at all. I don't know if the MI6 is the same. It's probably the same. Gary says he just got the MI6. Yeah, now that I got the Deus 2, I think I got the MI4 before I got the Deus 2, so I might get the uh, MI6. I just don't know. It's probably iron. Take a scoop on it. Make sure it's not a gold chain. Like when I skip up signals like these, you have the potential to dig up a stronger sound, you know? I don't know. Not really that confident in this one. Martin says I like the F pulse. I've never used the F pulse. I've heard of it though. It's kind of similar to the uh, XP MI4, huh? It's not, that's not the signal though. Yeah, the pinpointer will do that. If you stick it into salt water, it'll start beeping and you can press the button to like uh, recalibrate it. I think I'm gonna skip this one. Crypto. Crypto says, uh, as soon as I get some extra cash, I'm gonna get the Xterra Pro for my first starter. I think it's a good starter machine. It's versatile. Yeah. I think you get a good amount for the price. Some people are like unhappy with it, but 
Most of the people who get it, I think, are pretty happy with it. I just hope it's going to stand up in the water compared to the day, so... Well, you can't compare that. That's... <laughs> you can't compare those. Well, it's not my fault that that's what you put me in the water. <laughs> Destiny's spoiled on the day of stew in the water now. Yeah, crypto, this is a good hobby. I mean, as long as you're okay with digging up trash, like, you're gonna find trash no matter where you are. Even if you're on, like, the old home site, <laughs> the 1800s home site, you're still gonna find a good amount of trash. I, the water is pulling, like, so heavy up there. I think the sand maybe got pulled off the beach. You guys like these little trough areas? I've heard people say always hunt these. I've never had any luck in them though. But how often do we actually get them? Yeah, they're not, they don't happen too often when we're down here. You guys hunt these areas right here? Bill says just ordered the legend. Hopefully it will be here tomorrow. That would be nice. Right before Memorial Day weekend? Yeah, Memorial Day weekend's coming up. Let's hop up into the dry for a few. Or like even this hump. This is where I found that first piece. Try this hump for a second. It's sound if you listen close though. Yeah, I hear it. It's it's a weird sound. I think it's iron or something weird. I might be wrong. You hear it? Like if you listen, hear it? Now it's just iron. Still learning the machine, but. Oh, it's jewelry though. See, this is why, like, if you want to find junk jewelry, that's actually a nice one. You might like that one. Oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, wait a second. Oh no, yeah, that's that's junk jewelry, right? Yeah. L A C N, what does that mean? Latin China. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's actually kind of nice though. It's like one of those uh Oh. It's the actual beads that you like, you well, know. I might, yeah, I might like that one. But it's got a little butterfly on it. That's okay. I might we got that. some jewelry, dude. On an iron signal too, I think, right? Iron signal with like a little bit of a high squeak on it. Ooh, but that That's what's be, up. That might be big on me though. Destiny, I found Destiny another one like this and she wears it. It's kind of pretty. We'll take it. A little bit of jewelry. I mean, I don't really have any other Oh, you don't want it? All right, I'll get it back. Jewelry, baby. Put it in the pouch. <laughs> the little butterfly makes it a little bit tacky, I think. I want to stay in this spot too. Check this out. Is this a good spot to look? Look at the sand right here. Just take a few bags home for our raised beds. I think this is a good spot. <laughs> Nothing will grow in this. <laughs> no, we just use it for the bottom layer. For the shelter. If a root hits this, our plants will instantly die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we recently got some raised beds. We're planting some pumpkins out. What else are we planting? We got uh, beans. We got peppers. We got our mini and cucumbers. We yeah. Watermelons growing. Like before I started a metal detecting channel, I was very, very heavy into gardening and I'm still into it. I got like a lot of fruit trees at my place, but I fell out of uh, like vegetable gardening. So recently we have been invigor or reinvigorating. Is that the word? I've been getting back into it. My green thumb is returning. We ordered some uh, like galvanized steel raised beds. Cheap. They were like 40 bucks each. Uh, six foot by two foot, I think. Filled those babies up, plucked some seeds in there. Yeah, Gary says give it to your girl. I will if she wants it. Destiny must have tons of jewels by now. She doesn't really like jewelry that much. Dig this one up as a curiosity again. She likes like the worst jewelry that I find. <laughs> Like the cheap stuff that like... <laughs> She's found, last time we were out here actually, she got a little silver wave like toe ring or ring. I wasn't recording that day, but... But it wasn't a great day. 
<laughs> yeah, it was a slow day. I've been trying to make you guys videos recently. I just really haven't been finding a whole lot. It's been slow. This is 100% iron, right? 98.9? Oh, that one 98.9% iron. That's an ancient one. We can, uh, that's like a coin ball, a beach ball right there is what we call it. Something. We can break it open when we get home. There's a shell in it. Uh, Roger says, too many deep light targets and wet go dry. I might go dry. Gary asked, still got the scooter? Yes, I do. You got the scooty. Mad Mike is saying, uh, 12 clad dimes, three quarters, nine copper pennies, and 10 junk. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not a bad ratio. Way better than my coin ratio today. All right, I'm going to listen to you, but I'm going to find one more signal in this little patch right here. This is like kind of a downwards hump. I'm not directly by the uh, wet sand anymore, or no. I'm still in the wet. I mean, yeah. I'm not directly by the water yeah, anymore. The water is a good, like, 20, 30 feet away. I think honestly, a lot of dry sand got stripped off and deposited down by the wet sand. So there's like a hump over there. I'm gonna go for the part. <laughs> I'm not gonna go for that one. Another iron questionable one. What's up, Texas plug? Says my hubby has some jalapeno and serrano peppers. Ooh. Heck yeah. We got a Carolina <laughs> plant. Yeah, we ordered some, or we ordered some seeds. We bought some seeds, and we also bought a couple like plant starts. We got a couple. Uh, <laughs> we got a freaking something that we'll never eat. What is it called again? Carolina Reaper. Yeah, we got a Carolina Reaper. <laughs> I used to grow habaneros and. Uh, <laughs> Serranos, this one's good. 77, 80, please be a ring. This one, that's all you need. Please. Oh no. Oh, no. Thought I just heard it sound horrible. The mic just got flipped. Could have got flipped. Is it out of the hole? I don't know. Did I take? No, it's in there. I was way off on that scoop. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's embarrassing. It yeah, it does happen. I was way off. It's iron, I think. It sounds weird. Maybe a junk, junk something, but it doesn't sound very good. Is that small? The heck is it? Didn't sound that small, did it? No. Is that actually even it? No way. It's this. It's this. Oh my, that's so tiny. Is it a little it's shot this. put? I think it's like something out of a beach chair or something. <laughs> Why that's did you sound so, so good? Little. It sounded awesome. All right, let's fill her in. Yeah, Herbert says I like the mild peppers. We recently just got some sweet peppers, like some snacking Mar peppers. Marconi. Yeah, what is it called? Mar Marconi. Marconi or Marsoni or something. Something that says it's big. And then we got a... Uh, Bobby pin. Oh, what is it called? It's a snack one. Snacking, I think it's like, it's probably not the actual name of the pepper. Yeah, it's like called snack Sweet variety. snacking pepper or something. It's probably not actually the variety. Red, a little red guy. All right, I said I was gonna go up in the dry now. Let's go up in the dry. Ooh, we got a fancy hotel. It's nice here though. I'm so glad to just not be like battling everyone and their kids. 30 instantly as soon as you get to the dry sand don't worry there's no shortage of targets up here but be warned most of them are going to be nicotine gum packets and olive oil blends yeah and vapes found two vapes in the dry the so far is, we can go where the chairs are 
Yeah, what else we got? We got a uh, Armenian cucumber. Have you ever heard of that? I, I successfully grew some really long ones a couple years ago. We have the stars in the moon watermelon. Yeah, we got some watermelon started. Now, to be fair, I don't know if we're necessarily growing this stuff at the right time of the year, but... Also, Seminole Pumpkin. Have any native Floridians... 63. Squeaker. Yeah, that's a banger. Pull tab or a Nick Kelly. Oh, you missed it. Did I? Yep. You see it? Uh-huh. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Did I get it? Yep. It's no. <laughs> Walk says, does Trump ever come to your beach? Uh, he could drop some big old gold. Does Trump really wear that much gold? I feel like the people at this beach probably, I don't know, there's gold out here for sure. Just where? That's the question. It's just, this beach is miles and miles, so. Yeah, David says, don't eat the Carolina Reaper. I think I know better. I probably Reaper, I think won't. The Carolina Reaper is worse than the ghost pepper. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Sounds weird, small or something. You just want to get her for funsies. Yeah, it's kind of the uh, novelty, but I might try like a little piece of it. You I can't touch it barehanded. I used to eat habaneros for fun <laughs> for a short period of time. These little things, I'm not sure what they're for, but I think it's beach debris. No, but you, I don't think you can touch it with your hand. You can't even touch the... No, uh, <laughs> because the oil. Yeah. We'll catch you later, Mad Mike. Appreciate you hanging out. At least it's nice and cool tonight. That's one of the yeah, Herbert says, I heard it's the hottest, but it changes. Yeah, they're always trying to, there's that crazy like uh, pepper community that's always mm -hmm. trying to one up. <laughs> they're just like, you know what? We're gonna make this a devil freaking ball. There's literally guys out there that will eat peppers for like the, is it the euphoria or something? Yeah. Like I've seen guys get high eating peppers. I don't think it's worth the pain. <laughs> They want to hurt themselves. They want to feel. Have something. you guys ever seen that guy? He's like, he's is he bald headed? He's got like a white beard. He just wants to hurt himself. I remember watching some of his videos a while ago. No hanky panky after touching that hot stuff. Yeah, that would be uh, that'd be I'm a time. Anything after that? Is that a towel? Is it? Sheet. Towel. It's a towel. A little thinny towel. Is it a hotel towel? Might be. You gonna get it? Do we take it home? Heck yeah, we take it home. Do Crusty we... towel? No. I, I don't think I'm taking it home. Okay. If you want to toss it out, you can. Oh well, yeah, there is a shoe. What the heck's that? Uh, Ooh, bracelet? Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's the top a to a bucket. bucket. Yeah. We're finding some weird stuff out here now. Trash. Peppers with lasers on them. Oh, I think this will fit. Does the shoe fit? I'm not gonna put my foot in there. Any money in there? Oh, yep, it would probably fit me. Fit? Oh, well, it might be a little small. Like a half. Someone's creation right here, Sandcastle Creation. Still got the baby shovel. Did he lose his golden chain? His baby golden chain? Little Johnny boy. <laughs> Herbert asked, do I have a favorite coin I have found to date? And honestly, I haven't found too, too many old coins. Found yeah, I found like the, the mo not really, pretty much modern silver. Like I found one 1964 Roosevelt dime, one 1964 uh, Washington quarter. You found the Sacagawea. But yeah, but that's not, th those are cool coins. I'd say the favorite coin I found is, I found a foreign silver before oh, yeah. that was from like, it was tiny. It wasn't from England. It was from like either the Netherlands or whatever makes ore. Like I found a also, oh, is it Dutch? I don't think the ore was silver, but I don't know. I'll just be honest. I haven't found too many like cool coins. 
we still have time. We still got to get some permissions, get on some old properties and find some cool coins. I haven't even found, like, I've never found a buffalo nickel. Uh, never found an Indian head penny. I found quite a few, like, wheat pennies and whatnot, but... Texas says check around those clothes. That's always a good, especially around like the towels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's gotta be more stuff in the dry sand. Oh, there probably is. Like how far up do they set up those things? We're entering hotel territory. I will not enter hotel. My favorite ring find, hmm. I don't know. I have a couple that I do like. For me, I would say it's probably one of the two that I found two next to each other. It's gotta be. Like the little 14 karat Le Le'Veon. I found two white gold rings like back to back because they were, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard me tell this story. It was still sad because I'm pretty sure the one that was in the middle got away. But it's like two 14 karat gold uh, Levion chocolate diamonds. This thing sounds crazy. Ooh, it's a coin actually. It's gotta be more than one coin, something like that. A quarter, first quarter after how long? How long have we been out here? Two and a half hours? Two hours, three hours. <laughs> Ooh, it might have been iron with the coin. Could I get iron out of the hole, you think? Maybe it's just deeper. Huh, that was a strange one. Quarter sounded really weird. Maybe it was because there was a little bit of iron next to it. Somebody didn't cover their hole. Mighty says, I know an area around Pensacola. They were working on a pathway there. It has a beach and woods. That's pretty cool. This one, kind of good numbers. 50, 49. Sounds okay. Aluminum seal. Ooh, this Garrett pinpointer though. Right here. No way. It's iron? Is it jewelry? It's junk jewelry, I think. Oh, where'd it go? Did it? Where'd it go? Did it land in your pouch? I think it did. I think it landed in my pouch, Here's dude. Get up and shake. Do you guys care that much? I'm pretty sure it was junk jewelry. <laughs> it probably fell right in the junk pouch. Check out the junk pouch so far. <laughs> Look at these bad boys. Oh, so those are new finds. Yeah, those are, are the gold ones. Nah, they're China special, I think. Okay. All right, I think that was junk, crusty jewelry. Let me see. Oh, it's still there. It's still there, I think. Is it right there? Yeah, there it is. What is it? It's giving me iron tone because the little clasp look like it's iron right there. Or like the little... Is it one of those hands? Better not be one of those hands. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's unidentifiable crusty jewelry. Butterfly maybe? It looks like it might have wings. Top just broke off. Palm tree. It's jewelry, baby. We're getting rich. Take that baby to the pawn shop. We'll be eating good for the next two weeks, I'm telling you. What's up, Ahmed? Uh, finding gold and silver is nice. Yeah, Herbert, that is... If I, if I could get more easily on older locations, then I would be hunting them a lot more. It's just the effort required to even have a chance for me. What? Look the hole. Holy like, moly. Like like Dude, somebody had a banger signal right here and they could not give it up. Look at this. Look at this crater. Oh, they actually do. 
look oh, at this crater. Should we go in there and see if there's anything in there? We'll go for the signal that's right there. You guys see how massive this is? Whoa. Maybe there's a way in. There's a way in? <laughs> this is iron, I think. Bottle cap or something. Rona? Rony? No? Not Rony. Smaller. Just a screw, just a Phillips head baby screw. Super massive black hole. <laughs> yeah, I do rusty. I kind of prefer the MI4 over the Garrett. I, I like the Garrett. I can't hate on the Garrett, but. There's a way to get in. I'm, I'm gonna go in here. This is where the treasure chest lies, treasure chest. I've never been this far down at the beach. <laughs> But that just goes to show you, look how deep this hole is and like, we're just scratching the surface metal detecting, you know? Hit the sidewalls. <laughs> In the water. Somebody made a literal... What kind of equipment did they have? What bowl did they have? They probably just had a shovel. Probably just worked all day on this bad boy. All right, let's get out of here. Right, well, Treasure chest ain't in there. <laughs> Falling. <laughs> fun hunt though, fun hunt. The pit to riches. <laughs> Maybe on the mound. Maybe they dug something yeah, out of the hole. A little bit of iron. Got orange peel bagel jenkins. Orange peel? Some bagel chips. There's something kind of scrappy right here. Is there trash cans over here? 46, scratchy. It smells like sunscreen. Yeah, I just got a whiff of something. Where did it go? here on top some aluminum bagel chips bagel chips what bagel chips oh you got some chips i can take that with me in my pouch nope. okay a little piece of aluminum on whatever they were drinking on eating on uh herbert says do you ever use electrolysis i do and it does a good job hmm, i've never tried electrolysis but destiny got me a ultrasonic cleaner which i've used a few times and seems to work pretty good can you see it i think it is too i think it's like right here good job girl calling it out fruit barrel man fruit barrel I can take that with me too. They didn't put their money in there, did they? I wasn't going to try to open it. Chex Mix yeah. bagel chip. <laughs> I'm still looking for a ring, dude. Come on. Pick up the swing speed a little bit, I guess. First one of these. 1906 vintage tomato ketchup. I like it. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. So what's the plan here? What's up guys, how you doing? How's it going? Good. This one is a little bit sketchy. No. There's no. iron there, but I don't think that's... That's something different? I think there might be. I cannot tell. Oh, there it is. Does not sound good. Sounds it's like booty. <laughs> Sounds like some booty. Where is it? Oh, I thought it was that big thing. No. Something small. Another piece off of like a beach chair or something. Beach debris. Scrap. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much more room. 
See you later, Texas. Thanks for hanging out with us. Herbert says, think gold. Yeah, you gotta have a golden mindset to find it. No one has wished me good luck today. I wish you good luck. But you don't count. It has to be a random person at the beach for it to work. No. No. Last time I was at the beach, or not the last time, but my last video, some guy wished me good luck. And then like probably like four or five signals later, I got gold. Yeah, these got to be hotel towels because they're like thin, right? Check around the towels. Check in the towels even because I had a signal in that blanket and that had me like question but it was like a lithium battery. Ugh. What's up, digging SoCal? Yeah, it's only like Nice five. to see you. It's only like six over there. Is it only six in Cali right now? What is it? We're probably pushing 10 now, oh, right? We're, we're past 10. We're, we're past 10? 10. I don't even know what time it is. You guys better be getting to sleep soon. It's past your bedtime. Past your bedtime, yeah. Destiny's bedtime is like crisp seven o'clock. Yeah, like 9.30. She's in bed. Like 9.30. My arm still has a little bit of swing left in it. Yeah. I think if I was swinging the Legend, I might be done. But realistically, this setup is probably about equal to the Legend. Yeah. Move them Tootsies, girl. Whoa! 42? Aluminum or the gold? Well, I think it might be the first. Did you see it? I thought I saw yeah. it maybe on the top, but is that what it is? It's a beaver tail washed up from long, long ago. 1800s. <laughs> so calluses can't resist the live beach hunt. Live beach, like it's fun. It is fun. It's It's slow a lot of the times, but... As long as you have that expectation before you click on the video. It's a different vibe. Yeah, I try to put in the title of my live videos like in real time so people kind of know what to expect. Because, you know, a lot of our metal detecting videos are over the course of like, I mean, minimum probably an hour, maximum, sometimes like 8 to 12 hours people put in for some of these videos, you know? So... Like, this is what it takes to make a 15 minute video. 40, 42. It takes a little bit of effort. And then there's never any guarantee you're even gonna get like good content or good like fine. So you just never know. Here it is. It's not the golden chain I've been hoping for. I found a gold bracelet, at least one, but I still haven't found a gold chain. No. Still looking for a gold chain. I found a silver chain. I found a gold chain. I found a gold bangle bracelet. I found a gold like link bracelet. Gold earring. Gold ring. Freaking gold uh, teeth. I found all varieties of gold except for the gold chain. I think the gold chain is more likely to be found like in the deeper water. But I don't know. I don't do a lot of water hunting. See you later, mighty. He says, got to get up at 4 a.m. Yeah, you got to go, dude. You probably maxly have like 45 minutes left. Oh, we got till 6 a.m., baby. Oh, Says the, uh... Take it under. I drank a Red Bull for the first time today. Maybe that's why I'm still going. Maybe. Free advertisement. I'm okay, usually I'm usually not an energy drink consumer, but I thought I'd give it a try today. I can't really I can't attribute it to the energy drink though. <laughs> Even the dry is slow. Let's go down by the wet for a few more. What's up, Keith? Bill Crow, did I say hello, Bill? What's up, Bill? Yeah, we got a couple Bills. We got Bill and Christine in the house, or maybe it's just Bill. This is an interesting, like, water thing, because then there's a 
Yeah, the bump makes me think that it's the dry sand. Like when there's a bump, kind of goes low and then it creates a bump. I mean, it feels solid right here. Looks actually good. It's got like those ripples. I don't know. Florida Dirt Diggers says Red Bull gives you wings. Gives me freaking pull tabs. Like I can't even see down the beach to like see, you know, how the conditions are looking like down the ways. Very faint though. I'm gonna try to dig it out. Let's see if we can recover it. Please be our gold. Any type. But the water is so like warm. I will take any variety. Even the smallest little piece. A little essence of gold even. A link off of something. Oh, we're going, we're going for the essence now. Oh, it was already out on the first. 41 42 doesn't sound that good but you never know a little small signal aluminum yeah who said that it seems like oh wait it's not aluminum it's yeah it's scrap it's not as pliable as aluminum but it's some beach junk maybe it's a piece of platinum Dream squashers are a part of life. That is very true. <laughs> Dream squashers, calorie burners. Calorie burners. Whatever you want to call them. There's many names. Freaking pull tab is what, uh, who's that? Do you guys watch his channel too? He's another Florida hunter. I forgot what his name is, his channel name is. He calls him freaking pull tabs. Got some questionable down on the other end, huh? <laughs> Walks upon water says it's like walking on the moon, but no gold teeth, please. I'll be happy with gold teeth. Small. 49. Smells like popcorn. Somebody could be cooking. Still in there? You want some popcorn? I haven't had popcorn in a hot sauce. Regular popcorn, kettle corn, what you want? Popcorn. Regular old butter popcorn. Small signal again, either scrap or maybe an earring or something. Earring backing. There it is. No, piece to a Chinese spy balloon, I think that one is. Wait. Wait, no, I think it might have been the essence of jewelry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't call that one. I have no idea. Uh, Herbert says gold teeth are made with pure gold, I believe. I have one and my dentist told me it's pure gold. I think depending upon what you get. Yeah, maybe it's dependent on the type of... Uh, like if it's a tooth, it's probably gold gold for like just a whole two. Nice, Herbert. Be careful out here swimming. I don't want to... Yeah, watch, watch your mouth. I'd feel guilty finding your tooth out here. But hey, gold is gold. I found a gold grill before. It's kind of a cheapo one, but... It's a high tone with iron. Try it. Let's get into digging some signals. You guys are about to fall asleep. It's iron though, Hi iron high tone. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. Hey, one. What's this? Another puck we can break open later? I don't know. See you later, Ahmed. He says, good luck again. Hope you find something valuable. I appreciate it. I found this beach. <laughs> Destiny's right here. So corny, he like it. 
Appreciate it though, dude. We're trying. We're giving it our best attempt. Let's go back up to the dry, I think though. I just never know what to do. There's so many options everywhere. I am a meanderist, meandering detectorist. What have I found more? Have I found more like better stuff in the dry or the wet today? It doesn't matter though, because at any point in time, it could change. Florida dirt digger. Past my bedtime. Hurry up and find your ring. I'm trying. It's past my bedtime too. We're doing our darndest out here. I think I'm just gonna go for pretty much bangers from now on, unless it sounds deep. My shirt is still wet. Yeah, I'm still kind of wet from earlier. Try out the dry sand. Crazy sound, maybe big, 61. It does sound kind of like a banger right here. Please be the ring. 61, let sounds it, good. Let it be the ring so people can go see. No, oh. it's not the ring. Sorry guys, I was dreaming for you. I think that might be our first nickel of the day though. No, I found a nickel. Oh, you found a nickel too? Yeah. A little bit of color on them. Oh, my, lot, my chat is like going in and out. What's up, Lake? Lake Pilot? He says, love the live streams. Appreciate it, dude. I'm glad you enjoy them. You can never expect a live stream from me. You never know. You just never know. Will it be early morning? Will it be late at night? Will it be mid-afternoon? You just never know when I'm going to go live. Stay in this little area where the nickel was for a second. Picking up the swing speed a little bit. Come on. You can have you start reading a bedtime story. Yeah. I don't know any good bedtime stories. Is what? I said, is your chat still alive? I'm not sure. It's always hard to know. All right, let's head a little bit further up in the dry, I guess. <laughs> Iron. My dais has gas. Dang, dang dais. Herbert says, I love nickels. I like finding nickels too. Give me a little bit of hope that there could be a chunky gold ring around somewhere. Have you ever found one that sounds like a nickel? Have I found a gold ring that sounded like a nickel? Mm, a pretty close, I think. Yeah, most of the gold rings I find are pretty small, unfortunately. I found a couple honkers, but couple honking golds, but most of them had been just a little petite ones, you know what I mean? Honker knee knockers. Knee knockers. I don't know what she's talking about. What's up, Ron? Apologies about the slowness, everybody. I wish. It's gotta be some furl. I wish there was more to work with, but... Or better stuff to work with, I should say. There's plenty to work with. Let's keep going. Kathleen asks, it, or am I ever in the water? More recently, I've been trying the water a little bit more than I used to. The water for me, like, uh, 
it's just I don't get a whole lot of signals, but there are some good things that lie in the water for sure. Some iron bottle cap or something. You saw some aluminum. Oh, there it is. Yep. It's a Rona. A little case of uh, Rona. Be careful out there. Come on. What's the best find so far on this two hour live stream, I wonder? <laughs> the key? <laughs> Did I find jewelry? I think I might have found jewelry. Oh yeah, I found a little bracelet. What else did I find on the live? I found a couple like small pieces too off the live. But nothing really crazy. Nothing to, you know, send us down to the... The old bell? Yeah, nothing to send us down to the bank, you know, or the, the pawn shop. I mean, I ain't going to the pawn shop anyways. If I find a honking gold ring, say, you're not gonna do I'm this. staying as far away as possibly can from a pawn shop. Nicotine gum right there. I think the gum's still in that one. They're trying. Are they succeeding? Bill asks, are many of the old finds in water or further up in the dry beach? At this beach, I don't really find many old finds, honestly. I think it's hunted pretty much. Yep. It's it's hunted so consistently that like, I mean, occasionally when you get some, uh, like some water wash up and stuff or like some storms that come through, it definitely kind of mixes things up, but. I don't know. What are they doing? They're getting it on? Before the break of dawn? Well, it's already the break of dawn, I guess. It's past the break of dawn. No, dusk. It's past the dusk. Dawn is the morning, I believe, right? Dusk is sunset. No, isn't it the opposite? Isn't no. dusk... From Dusk Till Dawn, because that's a movie. Any of you guys ever seen that movie? What is that? Isn't that a Quentin Tarantino? I, I watched it when I, when I was a kid. I haven't seen it in a long time. My brain wants to reverse it. That's vampire movie, right? From Dusk Till Dawn. And so from dusk is, I think, when the sun is coming up. And then dawn is as the sun is setting. But I don't know. You guys tell us. It's a nice shell right there. Look at that bad boy. It's so pretty. Not actually that pretty. <laughs> Do you want this, him? Whatever this was, it was $12. That was $12? A tag off of something? Rockin' footwear? It's probably beach shoes or something. Some beach junk. I guess it's yeah, walks upon water. That's kind of true. Real, real old coins are like just beaten down. The oldest coin I found though today was that, I think it was a dime. And it was more kind of towards the uh, the wet sand. 49.50 right here. And I set my coil down on another signal over there. So might be in a little patch. 50, 51, 52. You're either gonna hurt tomorrow. I might not. Is that it? Oh, we finally, I think we finally, <laughs> we finally got one. Yeah, it is too. We got one. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at that. It was all worth it. Look at that. That's a honker, a honker and a half. <laughs> the pawn shop ain't going to have enough to dish out for this bad boy right there. This is, I think, my second snake ring. I found a... I think it's your Third? Third? Yeah, I think you have two littles. Two little snake rings? I might. This one's definitely like some copper, oh, but yeah, definitely. it's a ring, dude. It's a ring. Okay, and then the other one, is it the matching one over there somewhere? I don't know. It was a higher signal. There's a ring. That's what. That's what's up. We got our ring, dude. Y'all can go to bed now. Yes, you all can leave, but I'm staying. When I get a ring, that means I got four more hours on me. I got four more hours under my belt now. <laughs> we got to get home eventually put the chickens away. This one's a strong 31. Chickens are still out. Yeah, okay. 
big old aluminum seal. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a snake ring. Oh, Diggs says he got some of those shoes that I got, or Doug, Doug McClure. Oh, yeah. He got some of those Witten. Yeah, those are like, they're like wide toe or something. Yeah, definitely... I like them. I like them. Yes. Yeah. They've lasted me a little while. I mean, not sponsored. I bought them, you know, with my own money. But they were pretty good. They want to sponsor? That'd be great. Herbert says, you can always come back. <laughs> Gary says, finally a ring. <laughs> In the dry sand, too. So the dry sand today is what produced the ring. Now let's just get a couple more. See it? Oh, there's another piece right there. That's another piece of jewelry. Oh, it's a It's earring. crusty, it's crusty. It was I think it was gold plated. That's okay. It's you guys see though. the essence of gold shining on it's there? Copper. Matches the ring. Nice. Copper chopper. Yeah, double copper. They lost their whole uh, junk jewelry collection up here, I guess. It had a little bit of gold plating on it, though. It was fancy. Is that not quite two in a row? Almost two pieces in a row. Yeah, the foil seal, foil seal. Yeah, the foil seal came in between us. Let's search this area for a second, I think. Kind of do like some... Even that one. That one might be iron. Sounds weird, though. What do you need? Now we need the gold. We found a ring. We got a ring out of the way. Or precious metal. Bottle cap. Is it? I don't know. I can't tell if it's a bottle cap or not. Something small. Ah, I hate these things. It's another one of those things. Yeah, what are those out of? Probably chair. I think people say that. Yeah, beach chair. Almost looks like like a little piece to a bullet or something. It's got some shine to it, says Herbert. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna check this little area here. A patch that may not have been absolutely demolished by a dozen other metal detector users. See if we can find some coinages. I'm gonna go like kind of circle, circle pattern. Yeah, we'll check it out. There's three cigarette butts in the sand right there. Might be. That one might have been out here for a little while, though. Got some little things offline. Like, we're going to the beach. We're going to look cute. It's probably a kid's. I like big for a kid. Yeah. Beach chair ribbit says Martin. Yep. Martin says live with the Xterra Pro was a good hunt. I'm in the towel spot. You're probably right. The old towel line. Kind of just meandering a little bit, nothing back and forth. Dang, Deus. Leon says, go shallow water, you'll find better stuff. You might be right. I think I've almost, I've had it with the wet sand for today. Stick it out with for the dry. Let's actually maybe go towards the nets. You guys want to check out the volleyball nets? See if there's anything over there. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. I don't think. Wait. Can. Weird. Weird. Weird signal. Twisted T. Twisted T can vape again probably. Or maybe just iron. Iron. It's iron. That's a stick. <laughs> That's a stick for sure. Bro, it sounded huge. Oh. Ooh. Seagrams. <laughs> what a shame. Ooh. What was that? Was I in the water with that? With the Xterra on that live hunt? Yeah, I forget which one it was. The one that we found the two earrings at the end? It might have been here, actually. I wonder if it was... Was I in it? That's the question. 57 Ultra Squeaker right there. Sounds actually pretty freaking good. Oh, 
full tab is <laughs> come on a variety of pull tabis catch you later jason i don't know if i will uh i don't know will i still be here when you get back nobody knows Surprised my phone still has battery because I'm using the light on my phone right now. My phone still has battery too. <laughs> well, I turned off my dad, I guess, up there. So you can get better signal. Nick asked, what's my pack? What do you mean? Like my, my pouch? If you're talking about the pouch, it's called a Garrett All-Terrain Dig Pouch, I think. Foil signal right here. Foil or possible gold. Wait. Oh, I thought, I thought it was like the back of an earring. <laughs> little piece of foil. A little piece of foil. Martin says he always checks out the volleyball nets. There's a few you'll find after it's rained a little bit. I think iron right here. It's like a iron with a high squeak. There it is, bottle cap, I think. Corona. I think Corona is the top pick so yeah, far. I think, like at work, I saw a lot of Corona, Miller Lite, and Bubba. But that's because those two are on. So. Yeah. All right. Gonna, My little, swing is getting a little sloppier, a little further between each sweep. Is that glass right there? Probably. Careful with your tootsies, girl. I got a shell stuck in I think it. that's plastic actually. I Still got, sharp. I got a shell stuck in my foot like a splinter earlier. You're gonna get a shark's tooth to the foot. That ain't gonna be fun. A shark's tooth to the foot won't be fun. No, it won't be. 36. Well then I have a shark tooth. 37. Man, I need Shelly's luck. Shelly found a, what'd she say, a 18K white gold bracelet today and a gold ring oh yeah, we're not <laughs> 70 what the hell question mark what's up 70 oh, it's tonight. I'm glad the uh, rain didn't come back though I'm glad too. don't think it sounds that good it like it sounds good right but oh, yeah see is. I've been learning this machine that doesn't actually sound that good. What is it? Oh, another Rona. Coroni. Tromboni. Coroni, tromboni. You guys like lime in your Coronas? Dustin asks if you like lime in your Corona. Where's Meryl at? I miss Meryl's like, uh, like night hunts, honestly. 59 right there. Merrill's beach hunts at night. Don't know what to think about this one. Possible scrip. Possible jewelry. <laughs> Possible iron. Possible you know, there's a lot of possibilities. Is it ghost? Ghost signal? It's right about in here. It's gonna be another beach chair rivet. I really hope not. <laughs> Fell, no, wait, there it is. No. Why do I go for these tiny signals? Because they sound good. Because once in a while you pull out like a gold stud earring though too. And I've lost it. Okay. What's up, Jim? What's going on, uh, Metal and Matt? Oh, we're right by the trash can. We're right by the trash can. I think I got it. <laughs> All right. Metal Matt says, I need to move to Florida. We're full. No, you don't. It's pretty nice. You don't need 
the summers it's the death swamp. Destiny says no, you don't need to move to Florida. It's a death swamp, it's a trap. A death swamp, she says, and a trap. 32, come on with the low numbers. I want like a little higher than 30, because I mean, 30 could be gold, but it's just low percentage, low, low percentage. Some foil, more aluminum. Leah, uh, Leon says, two nights ago I found four rings in water, two silver, one trash, and one pal pal palladium, palladium? 950? Is that platinum or is that different? Might be platinum. Heck yeah, Leo, where are you hunting at? Are you in Florida? Probably hunting this beach. <laughs> Scooped up all the goods from the Wata. It's a 37. It sounds screamer, but. There you go. What's that one? Alcohol prep. There's still gold signals out here, I guess. Yes, 70. This beach is pretty heavily detected, but it's also very large. So, 43.44, small. A little bit more comfortable with like the 40s. Still can be aluminum foil, but. I think I've been missing it. Is it aluminum? Something shiny. No. Uh, is it not? No. Ho ho ho! What is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it fake? Mm -hmm. It's gold colored. Ooh, Ooh, it's got some stones in it. What? It, what are these? I found something kind of similar to that. Oh, you found something like that, similar to that the other day. But it was not gold colored. No. I don't know. I think it's junk, maybe. There's a, I think there's a mark. Ring it over the detector real quick, if you can. Okay. Check it out. No. I 40s? It maybe. I'll say maybe. It's... Wait, let me see. I don't know. Probably not. It might just be a fresher one. It's like, I, I, saw it, like I don't know what is it though. It's like it's weird. Hey, we'll take it though. All right, we'll put it in the pouch. I'm not really sure what it is. Clip-on earring, it might be. But I don't like, but think no gold. Clip, That's an issue. Seventy asked, "Why did I pick that section of beach? Because I've had the most luck here, pretty much. I tried. I came down to this beach and I went to the opposite end, and I just I didn't have any luck. It was all." Just bad, <laughs> just bad. So I don't know, no specific reason, just pretty much because I've had the most luck at this end of the beach. Like, I think all of the areas are almost equally as populated. But I'm not sure. Yeah, 70, it's shiny. Here, there's gonna be some good signals next to this big boy right here. Uh -huh. Woo, take that one with us. That was that couple that passed us, right? It's a good sounding one. 53.54, crisp. I'm gonna guess like zipper pull, assorted size uh, pull tab or Obviously, I hope for a ring, but I doubt it's gonna be a ring. There it is. See it? Sticky pin. No, it's a crumpled, crushed pull tab. So, oh. like target IDs, you can't rely on target IDs because things come in very many different shapes, sizes, and variations, you know? Herbert says, I like what you're finding. I'd stay myself if I were there. Sand is easy, well, dry sand. Yeah, I don't know. I'm finding like a few things here and there. Not many coins at all, which is 38. It's really nothing new to me though. I haven't really came out of the beach with too many coins in recent days. 
<laughs> Another uh, aluminum seal right there, peel and lift. But these signals right here, I'm pretty sure anyone that is looking for gold is digging up these signals. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong. So this shows like that there, the potential that there could still be gold sitting out here. No guarantee, of course, but you know, if you're finding nickels, pull tabs and like aluminum seals and stuff, really it's only a matter of time until one of your signals is gold. It's kind of like my thought process. There's no guarantee that it's out here, but Herbert, I'm using the Deus 2 right now, but I was using the Legend earlier. So keep uh, your eye out for a video. I'll be posting it in like a couple days. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, Leo, I'm using the D2 right now. Tiny little signal. Is that it? That's it. Foil right on top. Using the Deus 2 with the 11 by 13 coil right now. Foily signal. I'm probably one of the few people out here that has the patience though to continuously dig up these foil signals. A lot of people just they don't have the patience to do it. That's not foil, it's a piece to a baby zipper pole, I think. Just never know what's gonna come out on a foil signal. Piece to a zipper pole, alright, alright. With us. We got like three left in the chat, I think. No, I'm kidding. It says there's maybe 68. <laughs> We're just hanging out though. It's like a casual hangout, you know what I mean? You guys are just lurking. You're waiting until I find something decent. You may be disappointed. Crypto says, I dig every one. I like the way you're thinking, Crypto. Till you get out here and then like 15 in, you're gonna be like, all right, cherry picking time. <laughs> oh, I just heard something. <laughs> you little iron. What's up, Nick? trying to skip back like by some of these kind of sketchy questionable ones they could be jewelry or junk jewelry but let's save our effort for the I thought I just got another signal there maybe not tiniest piece of foil or something small trying to dig up a lot of these foil signals i heard shelly said earlier she found the 14 karat gold man or the 18 karat gold bracelet that's what has me still digging them up the hope oh leo says or leon says i use the vanquish 540 for dry sand and excalibur 2 for the water i always wanted to try the excalibur i've never gotten a chance to use one see you later gary so he's got to do some research Roger says, uh, ever since all the metal detecting videos set showed all the gold being lost, beachgoers are more careful wearing their good stuff. That might be true. But sometimes, like, I think like that, when there's a lot of guys, like, either hunting in the water or down by, like, the wet sand, the people at the beach see that that day, and they're probably more likely to take their jewelry off and, like, put it up in their towel or something at least, you know? So I never discount the dry sand. There could be stuff anywhere. I feel like the dry sand, there's less you can do to like, I don't know if I would say there's less skill in the dry sand. You need persistence for the dry sand. You have to just like, if you want to find all the different variations of gold, you just, you got to dig up some junk, man. I think that's just the way it goes. More foil. Oh, 
what's up laura says uh 50 of us hanging hanging in there waiting for the big payout <laughs> i'm still waiting Destiny says she's getting tired and hungry. <laughs> Girl, you should have brought your detector. Girl, you'd be still going by now. You had your detector? No, you'd be done, probably. Crypto, no sacrifice, no reward. I wonder if anyone hunts like way far up in the dry. I mean, I've had luck like on the way out up by uh, like the exit of these places, you know? You never know. Can't skip over it. Huh? Oh yeah. yeah right. Tourist. Not even tourist. When do the late night detectorists usually show up on the beach? Like super late? Foil. If we go like toward drought schedule, he got here at 7.30 to like 2 a.m. Oh, did he? Mm -hmm. He just might be at a different end. Yeah, Martin, that's usually how it goes for me. A lot of trash to find one nice piece of jewelry. What's up, Matt C? It's all right. I, I like put out a notification 15 minutes before I'm going live, so there's no way anybody could have known that I was, you know, going live. What's that thing? It's not metal. Uh, it's a water bottle cap some junk <laughs> Laura asks, so who else has the metal detecting Popeye arm <laughs> uh, I probably kind of have it look at that baby little footprint in the sand <laughs> little baby's foot in the sand <laughs> the volleyball nets were coming <laughs> we're on a ghost adventure at this point Destiny says she wants to go on a ghost adventure. You guys know any haunted places around? There's actually quite a bit. Roger says she detector always did good around trees, way up high on the beaches. Yeah, like by the palm trees, right? Because people take shelter under there when it's like 100 degrees out. <laughs> it's the only shade. Little baby footprint. <laughs> Deus is telling me that might not be good. Might not be that great. Leon says I'm planning to, uh, to go hunting tomorrow. He says uh, tomorrow night I'm sure St. Peter Clearwater. So maybe see you there. Thirty-two guaranteed aluminum. <laughs> you guys have any like specific technique when you're hunting up in the dry sand? My technique is go for the aluminum and hope one of them turns out to be some gold. That might be why like you end up like with such small rings. Seventy ass. Uh, any night creatures out there? Not that I've seen. Not so far. We are the night creatures at this point. <laughs> Gotta get it, right? Yeah. I have to get it. I can't walk by it, even though I know it's aluminum. Tell Destiny to try those Quiggy board. Quiggy board? Oh, like, oh, what? how do you pronounce them? Oja board or something? Oh, Ouija board. Ouija board? No, I'm not playing with those. She says she ain't playing with those. She's scared. Don't mess with demons. She says she don't mess with demons. Laura says 3 a.m. after hurricane, best detecting time. You're probably right. <laughs> Furl. Today, for some reason, too, I didn't reset my camera. We're just still live. I never did that reset. Usually, my camera will like cut out in an hour and five minutes. 
we got lucky today. Yeah. We've been on for at least a little while. We've been on for like three hours. No, not live, have we? Have we, we started, been live? We started at 8.30, so like two and a half maybe? It's almost, it's 11. Huh. Yeah, we've been live for a little bit, so hope you guys have enjoyed the hunt. <laughs> we're probably on our last leg out here though, so we're on our last limb. Give me a little bit more jewelry, please. The last hurrah. We have at least something we can check out when we get home. We have like potential gold. It's not a ring, but it's potential gold. It has the, the chance. Probably. They come out at night. I think they came from over yonder. I'm gonna skip that 30. I just that was the gold bracelet. Little small 30. I just have had enough. I think. Something right on top there. I think. That one sounded good. I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, can we uh, mail detector restaurant? Crimson says, hello, how's it going? Are you using the uh, V1.0 for the day of suit? Yeah, I am. I'm using pitch high square tones right now. Pitch high square. <laughs> day of stew is getting like even more complicated, huh? But it's been decent out here today. I'm still preferring pitch over full tones at the beach, I think. I'm kind of liking, like, experimenting with the new, uh, the pitch high square tones, so. I don't know. Still got a lot to experiment with. I think I'm liking it. I mean, it's treated me okay today. I didn't find the golden, you know, the golden doubloon, but... It doesn't matter how well a machine performs. If the golden doubloon ain't out there accessible to be found, it won't be found. It's the same thing with like jewelry, you know? If you don't swing your coil over the right spot, it doesn't matter how deep your coil goes or how good the separation is. Crimson is, says, uh, I updated mine and been having issues. What kind of issues have you been having? I'm curious. I haven't really used it uh, on land yet. I've really just exclusively been using it at the beach, so. Is that foil? What is that? Is that freaking silver? It probably isn't, but it's got that like black grace look. Hmm. It's kind of pliable. What is it? It's probably junk. Looks like it could be like a hair, an unrolled like hair clasp thing. It's got that like dark color, how like silver, tarnished silver gets. I don't think it's silver. I think it's more likely some junk, to be honest with you. <laughs> Very likely some yunk. Right, See if we can find one penny under the nets. I'd be like a dream come true. A dream come true. <laughs> One penny under the nets. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Crimson is saying, I'm having a hard time pinpointing targets with it now, and I'm having a hard time hitting targets that are at least four inches in the ground. Wow. Yeah, definitely going to have to experiment some more. Because who knows? I mean, when you update a new machine, I haven't done a lot of testing. Sounds sketchy, but we're right under the volleyball nets. When I'm under a volleyball net, I'm more likely to dig like anything, even if it's a 28, <laughs> even if it's 98% scrap. That's scrap. Some foil. Yeah, some foil. What's up, Jason? He's back. He made it back. Did you miss that shiny gold thing we found, Jason? Or were you here for that? I think you might have missed it. You might have missed the shiny gold thing?
probably more foil, but under the net again. <laughs> can't, cannot say lo no to a low signal under the net. <laughs> Blue foil. <laughs> more and more foil. Can't say no, it's too sweet. Once you're under the net, every foil signal becomes fresh and new again. Give me a screamer. Found a gold bracelet, like, it's been probably a couple of months by these nets. A couple of months ago. I don't remember what detector I was using. Yeah, I did. I can't skip it up. <laughs> My inner dialogue is like, no. My inner is like, no, it's the gold earring. Don't skip it. It's not the gold earring. The heck is it? <laughs> Some scrap, gum wrapper, shiny gold foil. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna keep going with the nets for a little bit though. Volleyball net. Most people are off to bed, but not yet. That's something over there? Yeah. Right next to the net, what is that? It's block a brick or something? Is that a block of wood? It's not a treasure chest or anything, right? Get some karma points on this one. Iron in the volleyball net area. Sometimes you need to get some karma points before the gold will reveal itself. <laughs> this thing sounds, I wasted energy on this one. This was just a waste of time. Yeah, we're even Where? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> My cat was trying to chat. I think that's gonna be a new, no, unaccessible. It's gonna be a new no on that one. <laughs> Try to take a scoop on it, but. Try this other one. Whew. Yeah, I'm slowly draining. My energy is depleting, but we'll be back out here again. What's the best thing I've found at this beach? Um, what is it? I found a few gold here. I haven't really hunted this spot like too much though. Like I found at this beach a few times, like maybe three times I found back to back like gold and or silver. So I would say nothing really sticks out that's like crazy, but I found my first gold link bracelet at this beach. So like maybe gold bracelet, I don't know. I'm not sure. How many gold rings have I actually found at this beach? Not very many. What's up, Brandon? Says, uh, glad to have you back. Using version one? Yeah, I am. Yeah, we're a little bit late into the hunt though, so we're realistically, we're, we're getting kind of hungry. It's probably about time. Destiny's hungry, she's getting sleepy, so. Yeah, and we still have to make the drive back, so. I think, honestly, we're probably about to be wrapping it up. So, hey, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us though, as always. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of pull tab and aluminum foil action. I hope it's kept you entertained for at least a little while. Check under the trees. Bill asks, are y'all allowed to search uh, most of the beaches in Florida? I do believe so. I think legally there's like a certain, there's a certain area that you're allowed allowed to detect though. So like, make sure you do your own research, you know? Everything is like a little bit different. What's up, Hillbilly? Huh. 
some furl. I think it's going to be mostly furl today. <laughs> Your car is still there, right? <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, like I said, appreciate you guys hanging out. Me and Destiny are heading out. So hook it up with one of these babies if you guys enjoyed it. One of these is welcome if you hated it, if you're disappointed. We did get a ring though. So if you guys missed the ring, go back through the video and check it out. We found a couple pieces of like small assorted jewelry. So it's a pretty slow hunt, but I liked it. It was a nice day. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys, so. Appreciate you guys. What's up, Harry? A lot of iron by these palms. Yeah, Destiny's getting grumpy. She's about to take me out. She's about to snap my Deus 2 in half. Snap my Deus 2 in two. <laughs> but as a metal detector user, you just have to swing just a little bit more. Just one more signal. Just one more. What's up, Van Porman? <laughs> yeah, good night, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. I got to get one more before we go out. I'm telling you, one last one. I'm getting into EMI now. Is that it right there? There it is. I think it's a bead, actually. It's a square bead.